Welcome to the Spot Build tutorial. In this video, we will introduce you to the Spot Build tool and demonstrate how easy it is to build and deploy a voice application using Spot Build's drag and drop method. Spot Build is a powerful development environment that is used to create anything from a simple Hello World call to a complex conferencing application. Along with the power of Spot Build comes the ease of creating these complex applications using a graphical drag and drop tool. Call flow applications are then created where all of the syntax is generated for you. With Spot Build, call flow commands and actions are represented by icons called nodes within the library panel. These nodes are icons representing specific blocks of VoiceXML CCXML code include commands and actions necessary for creating a call flow or voice application. Call flow and voice applications are created by dragging and dropping the appropriate nodes from the library onto the canvas interconnecting the nodes with arrows, and then configuring the properties for each node. The application can then be deployed to your Spot IVR. I will now demonstrate how Spot Build's easy-to-use drag-and-drop method allows even novice users to create simple to advanced VoiceXML CCXML applications. Spot Build has been designed as a web-based application. A web server is installed on a Linux platform, Spot Build is simply opened in a web browser, and the tool is ready for use. Today, we will be building and deploying an ASR TTS application. We'll begin by opening Spot Build in our web browser. Click the New Project button on the top left-hand side of the toolbar. Enter the project name. In this case, we'll name our application ASR TTS. Under the Library panel, drag and drop the nodes necessary to create our application. We will need a Begin node, an Incoming Call Action node, two audio input nodes, and our end node. Now that we have all of our nodes on our canvas, we'll go back and edit our nodes. We'll begin by double clicking on the begin node. We'll rename this node to start app. We're going to add two variables to this node, so we'll click add row. Our first variable will be user input, and our second variable will be error count with a value of zero. For our incoming call action node, we're going to simply rename this node accept call. We will leave the default action of accept as is and click OK. For our audio input node, we're going to want to rename this node get phone because we will be asking the user for their phone number. We're going to add a speech prompt and we want this speech prompt to play, please tell us your phone number. We're going to change our input to voice, save our input to user input. We'll add a timeout of four seconds, a maximum speech time of six seconds. We'll change our complete and incomplete timeouts to two seconds, and we'll paste in our custom speech grammar. For our next audio input node, we're going to rename this node playback because we will be playing back the user's phone number for them. Once again, we want to add a speech prompt. We want this speech prompt to play your phone number is. And we also want to add a digits variable with the value of user input. We will leave the default information the same for the rest of this node. Our last node, we're just simply going to rename end app. Now that we have edited all our nodes, we need to go back and connect our nodes. We'll mouse over our start app node until a solid green box appears. We'll click and drag a downward pointing arrow to our accept call box. And we'll repeat this until all of the nodes within our app are connected. Once we have finished creating our app, we can deploy our app to our spot IVR. Once our app is deployed, we can then call in to our Spot server and test our application. Please tell us your phone number. 402-476-8786. Your phone number is 402-476-8786. Four, 
six, eight, seven, eight, six. Congratulations! You have just developed an ASR TTS application using the Spot Build tool. For more information on Spot Build or any of the Interact Spot branded products, please visit our website www.iivip.com.